Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm welcoming you back, I'm welcoming myself back. Today I wanted to show you what is in my makeup bag right now. I recently reorganized it, decluttered it, gave it a little refresh for the winter season about a week and a half ago or so. So I've been using it the way it is right now for a little while. And some of my ultimate favorites in Holy Grail products obviously made the cut and stayed and then I have some newer things I'm trying out especially for the winter you know that's the colder months so the textures kind of change and my complexion products my coverage levels change a little and the color palette obviously shifts a little bit as well which for me is the most fun thing to kind of switch up and swap out well, why don't we go ahead and get started my actual makeup bag itself it has been the same for a couple years. I'm gonna go ahead and take these brushes out. I'll touch on these at the very end. So I'll take those out. Also this little bracelet my son made at school is in there. This is by Tartan and & Twine and you can find this brand at Ulta. They come out with new colorways in this exact same size bag every season and honestly I did have the itch to get a new one like I said I've had this for a while but honestly it's in such good shape it's held its shape so well the zipper works perfectly the hardware looks brand new there is no sense in spending money on something that I didn't need and I'm just gonna keep this one it's been working for me it's a lot heavier than it normally is because I'm just in the middle of foundation shades kind of right now I have absolutely been living for this primer this is by rare beauty it's the pore diffusing primer it really does live up to its name because it fills in texture and pores and fine lines so well it blurs out your skin so nicely but it's not drying or thick feeling on the skin usually thicker drier primers fill in texture better just because they are thicker and usually like hydrating smoothing primers don't really do a lot for me but this one totally does it blurs beautifully and it's really hydrating and it's nice and cushiony on the skin it's like a gel feel it never pills up or like feels like it's gonna pill up it's just a really beautiful product that one is definitely staying in and then I also have my milk uh, makeup sunshine skin tint I thought about swapping this out for something else because the shade which is light medium is becoming a bit too deep for my skin tone right now but I can always mix it with other things and honestly I just want to well I want to finish it out so I can get a lighter refill but I also just love this I love the way the coverage looks on my skin I can use a tiny tiny amount and I just get a really nice like richly um, pigmented creamy looking coverage the foundation section of this video is gonna be a little out of control um, but the NARS pure radiant tinted moisturizer this stuff is incredible I've been using this since the summertime my light shade is light 1.2 Gotland and my medium shade is medium zero Mykonos and I love this because of how beautiful and natural it looks on the skin um, it's not a very shiny, translucent tinted moisturizer. It doesn't look, have that like greasy look on the skin at all. It's almost like a satin finish tinted moisturizer, which I really enjoy. And um, that also makes it work really well into the winter months. It doesn't look like a very summery finish on the skin. It's a good all weather tinted moisturizer. These are gonna stay in and the foundation that I recently discovered like maybe about a week ago that I'm completely obsessed with, that's the one I'm wearing right now, is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. If I do wear something that's more medium to full coverage, I'm definitely sharing it out with a moisturizer. But this one is so light and natural looking. I just use the tiniest amount and I actually have been applying it with my fingers. Uh, sometimes I need a little bit of a moisturizer to kind of sheer it out to give it not even sheer it out just to give it a little more slip so it blends across the skin a little more easily but wow this stuff is amazing if you prefer full coverage I think you would love this it's not overly shiny or dewy either it's just kind of like a nice medium like again a satin finish but it looks like really healthy skin this is an incredible product loving this one so much and it does last forever this lasts for a good 12 hours on me which i rarely need something to last that long but i have noticed it does not break down which i've been enjoying my drunk elephant debronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops i don't you can see how, how much i've used of this it's like completely flat this was really beneficial in the fall months when i was in between my shades and this was good if like you needed a little bit more warmth on your chest or your face or somewhere wasn't matching this is a really good one to have in your bag I do always have my uh, holy grail flower beauty light illusion full coverage concealer in here so I always have that 
And then I have my e.l.f. Uh, what is this called? 16 hour camo concealer in light peach, which is a very, very, very fair shade. This is just for the deepest part of my dark circles. And then I do have the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer, the concealer version of this foundation, which I have been really liking this. It's almost kind of hard to tell what it's doing because the Catrice foundation does so much. It's like hard to notice if this is even working because I put a little bit of foundation under my eyes as well. But so far liking it. I'm kind of sorry about the background being so dark and gloomy today. It's a cloudy day and it's getting dark so much earlier now. Anyways, you guys know how winter works, I guess. Um, <laughs> moving on to bronzing products. This is my Milk Makeup Matte Cream Bronzer in Baked. And I've been using this forever. It has lasted me so long. I use it every single day. It's just a beautiful yellowy bronzy tone that I find so versatile. It works for me year round. Um, and it just gives me a really nice soft focus, like kind of buttery bronze look. Buttery meaning just like the um, creaminess of it obviously. But that yellow undertone just seems to be spot on for my skin tone. And I never find myself having to switch this out from season to season, but I did throw a couple other things in here just to, in an effort to kind of branch out my bronzers. Um, this one is the Huda Beauty uh, Tan Tour Contour Bronzer Cream, and this one is a really great product. Uh, it's just like a little bit more of that sculpted bronzer look, so I wanted to throw this in here again in an effort to try something new or use something different. And then my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate uh, Intensity One. <laughs> this is the cream highlight, cream bronzer duo. This is, again, that like yellowy kind of bronze tone. I feel like breaking out something a little bit more prestige, like a really high-end product like this, feels very, I don't know why. I like doing that in the winter time. I'm not a very luxury kind of gal. I'm very casual. But this time of year, this just feels right to be holding and using and having in my makeup bag. So there is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. And then these, you guys. Okay, th these are holy grails. These three Flower Beauty blush balms. Oh my goodness. These are incredible. I have cinnamon, which I'm wearing today. This is a beautiful, like, um, what would you call it? Like a sun-kissed terracotta, like a burnt terracotta shade. So gorgeous for a really sun-kissed look or like a toasty, wintry cheek or a beautiful fall blush tone. I'm gonna be wearing this all winter. And then this one here is Nectar. It's more of like a cantaloupe shade. And then Pinched, which is a softer pink. So I mix and match all three of these. And I love just the soft, diffused, like just subtle sheen that they add to your cheekbones. It pairs really well with the Catrice foundation. While it says it has, while it says it's hydrating, again, I don't find it to be like super, super hydrating. This kind of brings it back to life a little bit and brings out more of that hydrated aspect to your complexion when you pair those together. They're a really good pairing, I think. Oh, okay, so I have these two, which are actually really similar colors. I've been trying out the e.l.f. Putty blushes. The ones that I have, none of them have names on them, unfortunately. But again, this one is like a little similar to the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Cinnamon. It's just that really pretty toasted like nutmeg shade. I never used to wear colors like this. Um, but I think, especially in cream blush, you can really sheer them out um, and make them work for a deeper skin tone or lighter skin tone. So I have this one. I'm going to have to search and see what the name of this one is but it's so beautiful like a burnt nutmeg shade and then i popped this in my makeup bag i'm wearing this with the cinnamon color today this is by fenty beauty rose latte the cheeks out freestyle cream blush i popped this in my makeup bag because i really love this color and i always forget to pull it out of my main like blush drawer over there and it is very similar to the elf one yeah they're pretty similar actually this one's like a little warmer. This one's a little more neutral, I would say. I love this one. This is the MAC Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush in the shade Peach Twist. I have been using this from time to time. I don't use it every day, but I've kind of just been using it to set down my blush color to keep it from transferring. And um, it really does play off of all of the other tones I showed you quite nicely. It's a nice little 
Yeah, I just keep coming back to the word toasty. Like a toasty blush in the winter is my absolute favorite. And I also have the Glossier Future Dew here. That's been my go-to glow product. I love this so much. I honestly just love using it as a cheekbone highlight. I know a lot of people wear it all over their face. I'm still playing around with my favorite ways to use this one, but I do love that it's tinted. It has a nice little bouncy like serum feel to it. I just, I really do love it a lot. And all of these products that I'm showing you guys today, I feel work really well with a winter kind of glow. If I'm doing a very deliberate, like humid looking summer dewy sheen, <laughs> It just feels very out of place in the winter time. It just doesn't like look right when you step out in natural daylight and your skin is just like beaming everywhere all over your face. So this product, while it seems like it would be something very, very intense, and it can be, it also just looks, again, very hydrated and healthy and beautiful. It's nothing too crazy over the top. So I love this one. I am pretty boring in the powder department. I've been using the same ones forever now. I'm excited to try something new and switch it up. But so far, I've just been using my same Maybelline Fit Me and Fair as I have for years under my eyes. And the, again, the Charlotte Silvery. Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in number two medium. I don't use a lot of powder and I feel like with that Catrice foundation, I could honestly skip it altogether if I wanted to. But when I do use it, just the tiniest, tiniest dusting. I also have my Freck OG for when I want to do some faux freckles. For my brows, I have switched to Warm Blonde just because I had this one, I think by accident. So I started using a different shade and it looked great. So I just kept using it. It is the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I've also been using a Maybelline pencil, which I recently kind of lost, so I don't have that to show. The one that I've been loving, you guys, is this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow 24 Hour Brow Ink Pen. It's so good. Um, it's a great blonde shade if you're looking for a good blonde tone eyebrow product that isn't green. And you can just do the little hairline strokes to get that nice kind of like fluffier, feathery brow. The brush works really well. It's honestly a great product. I've been loving this because I do have pretty sparse brows naturally. There's just a lot of bare spots. So I use this to fill in and kind of fill in underneath after I brushed everything up. Also the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil in the shade 3 Iron. This is such a beautiful gray tone it's a warm gray but deeper tight line with that one just to darken it at the very base of my lashes for a smokier look I have Laura Mercier caviar volume mascara that I really do love I'm trying to use up but the star of the show you guys has been this Pacifica vegan collagen fluffy lash mascara I love it it's so easy to separate your lashes and fan them out and it really does give like a fluffy really fluttery beautiful look to the lashes a nice deep uh, sooty color it's absolutely gorgeous so beautiful very matte um, and I every time I use this I think to myself I love this stuff <laughs> And it was such a sneaker kind of product. I don't know, I don't hear a lot about it, but it's, you should really try it out. I highly recommend this one. And the packaging, just look at that. How beautiful is that? The main brushes that I use every single day, I do not use a lot of different brushes, you guys. I, if I'm not using my hands with the Catrice foundation, I'll use just like a really fluffy foundation brush like this. These e.l.f. little chiseled cream product brushes are perfect for cream bronzer. This one is for powder, it's fluffy. Oh, these are my favorite, they're so nice. Bronzer, blush, foundation, powder, under eye powder, double-ended Huda Beauty brush here for that. Usually just like a fluffy crease brush, a tapered crease brush. These are by BH Cosmetics. And then just an eyeliner brush for my little everyday eyeshadow wing. This one is by Laura Mercier. Um, I also really love the Sigma Jumbo eyeliner brushes, but if you don't have any of those, you could also try a lip brush. I use lip brushes a lot of times for my eyeliner because they're so flat and tightly packed and tapered, and the synthetic bristles usually work really well to get a nice smooth line. So you could always try that if you don't have a like a wider eyeliner brush. And this one I totally forgot I put in here. This is the Kaja Moon Crystal. It always falls to the very bottom. It's the Sparkling Eye Pigment in the shade Goddess. It's like a warm tan with silver shimmer running through it. 
so it just looks very dewy on the lid. I did pop in a couple different lip liners because I did want to switch it up. My Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Anywhere Caffeine. This is the NARS Precision Lip Liner in the shade Venice. Threw this one in here for my uh, like more festive lip looks by MAC. This is the color Chicory. It's a really pretty burnt pinkish red. It's gorgeous. And you could use that with red lip color, like brownish lip. These lip products from ColourPop they just came out with are gorgeous. I'm pretty sure they just came out with them. Uh, the Glossy Lip Stain. Usually I'm just not like a lip stain kind of gal. They always just make your lips look like you've just eaten a popsicle, which if you're going for that look, that's fine. But if you're not, then you're not, you know? But this one, so I'm wearing this one right now, and this shade is called First Bite. It's a beautiful brownish, orangey, coral. It's gorgeous. This color is so pretty. It's very much like a lip oil that kind of leaves behind color, a bit of a lasting, you know, stain color on your lips. Bad description, great product. This one is called Tutti Fruity, and this is a really, really deep, moody burgundy color. I have this Rare Beauty eyebrow little palette thing too. I don't use this too often. I do like it, but I just don't use powder too often. Okay, so just a couple more things. The NARS, what are they called? I always have to read everything. Air Matte Lip Color. These are gorgeous. They go on really kind of uh, plush looking and diffused. It's not a blurry look per se, but it's also not that really precise matte lip look either. They're soft, kind of a satiny feel. They are stunning and the colors are gorgeous. So I've been super impressed with these. Uh, again, I can never remember. <laughs> Everything is written so tiny, you guys. I need my glasses, air matte lip color. I have Morocco. This is called Dragon Girl. And this is Lose Control, more of a really pretty brown tone. This is called Surrender. Really impressed with these. Give these a try if you're looking for a bolder lip product. These are, they come in a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And these are just my favorites that I popped in here to remind myself to keep using. Okay, two everyday glosses and then I'm done. The first one is the Kapari Lip Glossy. This is so nice. It is the richest, most cushiony, clear gloss you can imagine. It smells so coconutty and amazing. I just love using this as a topper or just almost as a you know clear gloss balm. And then this one, so I'm obsessed with Stone by Maybelline and the Lifter Glosses, that shade. And this kind of fell by the wayside a little bit. This one is Topaz. I talked about this in the last video that I posted my favorite lip glosses, um, or my glossiest glosses, I guess. And this one was sort of just a, a mention. And now, I find myself wearing Topaz more. It is shimmery, it's a bit more sheer, whereas Stone is more of a cream formula. But if you're just doing a no makeup makeup look, it's the nicest color to pop on. It almost doesn't even look like you're wearing anything super crazy. It's like it just adds a nice little reflection and shine to your lips, a little bit of color, but it's reflective and pearly, so it looks really natural. It's just a gorgeous one. So this has kind of just been my go-to super natural everyday gloss lately. And now that I've dumped out every single product in my makeup bag and it's midnight, you can really see everything it's been through. It's actually not that bad. I've had a couple concealers explode in it, but it's held up pretty well. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I feel like we're pretty much caught up at this point. I mean, what better way to catch up with someone than to see all the products in their makeup bag and what they're reaching for on a day-to-day -day basis. And putting on their face. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.